numbers are rolling. I'm using OBS. Hi. All right. Um, please get your authorized version. The authorized version. You know, the one that <clears throat> the 33rd degree Freemason Jesuit trained Donald Trump is selling. <laughs> please. Get your authorized version of the scriptures commonly referred to as the King James Version. Two brethren now, in the mouth of two witnesses, two brethren now have uh, pointed this out to me. Uh, yeah, and yesterday, uh, dear brother, uh, dear brother, I'm not going to use because I, you'll see, but I'm not going to put because of the, the thing that you sent me, it's like in the shape of the phone, you know. So it'd be harder on OBS, but I mean, thank you. You know, Lord used you to kick me in the rear end to get this video today. But um, yeah, two brethren now have made me aware that <laughs> Donald Trump, uh, 33rd degree Freemason. How does now, how does one who is as wealthy as Donald J. Trump who has declared bankruptcy and all that kind of stuff, how does he end up then going to become the President of the United States of America? He was trained at uh, Fordham, Fordham uh, University, which is a Jesuit university, okay? As I have told many people, um, if the Jesuit order selects Donald J. Trump to replace Smoking Joe. I believe it's going to be worse when if uh, Donald Trump gets back into office, if they put him back in there. Because we do not have elections, people. We have selections, okay? I've been telling you that from the beginning, okay? But, but before we get ahead of that, let's get to some scripture. Get your authorized version of the scriptures, and please turn with me in your authorized version of the scriptures. Read with me word for word, verse by verse, at the scriptures we are going to be looking at today. Be a Berean. Search the scriptures daily, whether these things be so. Read along with me and check me out because sometimes I make mistakes. Okay? So, keep an eye on me within the scripture. Okay? We want to start today with Ezra. Ezra, chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 5. Now, we, we've covered this before, but, dude. Okay? And, and we're going to, I'm going to read you some things that I got from a dear brother. A dear beloved brother, uh, please, uh, brethren, keep uh, this brother in your prayers. Um, he needs prayer um, that um, certain things will be overlooked to perpetuate him further. Okay? So, please, he, he's our brother from Ohio. He gave me permission to use his name, but I'm not going to use his name. Okay? I love that man. He is our brother. But anyway. Ezra, not Nehemiah, but Ezra chapter 4. Ezra chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 5. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them let us build with you for we seek your God as ye do really you Christians you, you seek the Lord Jesus Christ yeah you, you got the scriptures that's good the, the, the authorized version known as the King James Version is the perfect inerrant given by inspiration word of God Okay? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And amen. Praise the Lord. Okay? You got a devil promoting the scriptures. Scriptures. Okay? The hope is with all this stuff that that guy uh, Trump is doing is that someone out there will get a copy of the scriptures and come to the actual Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, in that, yes, brethren, we can rejoice. But we're going to touch on something a little bit more about the dangerous part of all this. Okay, but let's continue here. So, the adversaries of Judah, 
went to the Hebraic Jews. Like, let us build with you. Let, let us perpetuate your God with you. Let us, because why? Because for we seek your God as you do. Oh, excuse me, as you do. Huh? Do you? Do you, Christian? Huh? What happens when we go through the scriptures and you find out that <laughs> the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, has requirements? Oh. oh boy. What happens when we read the scriptures and then you discover that the Lord hates sin? That the Lord isn't going to justify your sin? Hmm? What happens then? What happens then? Hmm? What happens when you read the scripture, Christian? Huh? And the Lord cuts you on something you don't like. What are you going to do? Hmm? Hmm? You know, just because someone uses the scriptures, promotes the scriptures, don't mean they're a saint. Don't mean they're a saved man. Okay? All right? Let's continue here. And we do sacrifice unto him since the day of Azar Hadan, king of Asur, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel sent unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us, to build an house unto our God. But we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. So see, these guys were coming along. It's like, hey, we're, 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 we're you know, we all serve the same God, right? That, that, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we all believe in the same God. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. Thank you very little. <laughs> no, we don't. Most, most, not all, most of you Christians believe in one God comprised of three persons. A person is spirit, soul, and body. Okay, I've talked about this at length. We are made in the image of God because we all have a spirit, soul, and body. Okay, Catholicism. Rome, you know, you know, uh, uh, these guys, the Jesuits, uh, Catholicism, uh, they, pr they preach one God in three persons, okay? That is not the God of Scripture, all right? So it's like, well, we all believe in the same, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't, Okay? Well, we all read the same Bible, they say. There are enemies out there who read the scriptures. Do they believe the scriptures, though? They, see, they say that they do. They say that they do. But do they? There are devils out there who know that the scripture is truth. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Think about that devil from England. Uh, you know, and with some of the devils from Canada, they know this is the truth. They know this is the word of God, and they would profess it. Absolutely, they would. And they're right. This is the word of God. But see, what's lacking there is a brokenness of self. They've never come to the Lord Jesus Christ His way. All right. Okay. Never have. And you gotta remember too, when you try to circumvent the cross going the elect way of the cross when you decide to boot the door and climb up some other way you are a thief and a robber hence you're not going after the actual Jesus who is but you're going after a construct of your own imagination or more the Jesus that is being offered unto you by Satan who is not the God of Scripture so a lot of you Christians, it's like, well, we serve the same God. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We believe in the same God. No, we don't. We have, we read, we read the same scriptures. Do you believe them? Well, I, I, I know you say that. Tell me, come in. Well, 
about, what about the resurrection? Huh? You believe in a, a resurrection from the dead? You're going you're to say, well, of course I do. I'm a Christian. We could talk for a while and then probably find out that uh, you actually don't. Uh, let, let's 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 re finish this up. So these guys claiming, hey, we we want your God too. Okay, we want your God too. And the Hebraic Jews is like, D -d 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 get out of here. You have nothing to do with our God. And what do they do? Verse four. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. What a shock. And hired counselors against them. Hired counselors to go on a smear campaign and to, to infiltrate and to cause problems like a lot of the Jesuit coadjutors do. And hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm? Now, we're going to have a, a word kind of look into in Scripture. Just a brief little word study here. Okay, just, just very brief. We're going to be looking at the word pretense with a C, okay? Go to Matthew chapter 23. It's a, it's a, it's a double-edged thing with Trump uh, promoting the authorized version of the scriptures. And like I said to the dear brother, I just can imagine these devils like Robert Breaker, um, that, that, and I'm being very polite, that idiot Jeffrey Greider from not, I would, and this, is to, this tells you how much uh, we as saints ought to abhor evil in Jeffrey Greider. I would rather watch the fledgling of pride and go to his stuff rather than going to Jeffrey Greider, okay? <laughs> that, 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 that shows you how abhorrent Mr. Jeffrey Greider, now the end begins. I bet you that putz is still telling you people that uh, that, that macaroni guy from France is the, the Antichrist. I bet you he is. I bet you he is. But I bet you guys like Breaker, uh, guys like Greider, guys like Kim are all up in arms. It's like, yay, see, Trump's promoting the authorized version. Yay. <laughs> People, whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Stop. Stop. Number one. Number one. Yes. Trump is apparently... Mouth two witnesses uh, pro selling selling the authorized version of the scriptures. Okay, that's good. That in and of itself is good. Okay, somebody out there because they see that putz uh, Donald Trump, you know, with his uh, you know his dentures and smiling, holding this uh, the authorized version. For, you know, good, good. But see. The hope is that someone will see that, go ahead and get an authorized version of the scriptures, and they read it and start and actually start to believe what is in the scriptures, and the Lord save them. That therein is what we as saints ought to hope for. Amen. Amen. But 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 but, but people. Okay, let's 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 use our thinking caps here a little bit. Okay? Why would a 33rd degree Freemason, he lives on the 33rd floor of one of his towers, I guess, okay? Why would a 33rd degree Freemason, a Jesuit, trained by Jesuits, okay, why would he be selling the authorized version of the scriptures, okay? And we're, we're going to see this and this uh, stuff that a brother sent me. There, uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, let, let me read this for you. Um, uh, a dear brother of ours was uh, doing some witnessing online and um, came across, and I'm going to name this guy. 
I'm going to name this guy because this guy's an idiot, and I'm being polite. He's ignorant. He's ignorant. He don't know better. But apparently, this Aaron Kai K I E. Apparently, this guy's willfully ignorant. That's stupid. And hey, Mr. Kai, if you you see me by any chance, okay, listen, listen up, boy. All right. Dear brother was doing his thing, uh, witnessing and whatnot, and the thing about Trump came up, and the thing about the the scriptures. Okay, and uh, yes, yes, Trump is apparently selling the authorized version, and in that of itself, that's a good thing. That is, for reasons we discussed. But now, our dear brother was like saying to these people, right? It's like, hey, you know, Donald, Donald Trump's, uh, he's, he's Jesuit trained. He's a Jesuit. Okay? He's also a 33rd degree Freemason. If someone goes through a Jesuit university, the Jesuits themselves consider them part of themselves. Okay, there is a structure to the Jesuit thing, which we're going to look at. I'm going to give you evidence of this. But uh, the Jesuits would say that Trump is one of their own, and obviously he is. Okay, come on. All right. But our dear brother was, you know, talking about, you know, <laughs> Trump, okay, people, my American countrymen, listen to me. Get your head out from betwixt Rome's buttocks. Your vote doesn't matter, okay? Wake up. Your vote doesn't matter, okay? You're basically, it's as like you pisseth against the wind. Your vote doesn't matter. We do not have elections. We have selections. We have nothing, okay? Please wake up to this, all right? And I'm telling you, mark my word, saints, people, I'm telling you. The Jesuits put that man back in office, it's going to be worse than with smoking Joe. You know why? Because you are being now taught, told, that Trump is actually a saved man, and he's even going the way of the scriptures. More on that in a bit, but I want to read this, this wonderful quote by this Aaron Kai guy. Okay? And if you see this, Mr. Kai, you attack my brother. Anyway, it's the KJV 1611, the correct Bible. It's the scriptures there, pal. Distinction. Distinction. You say he's a Jesuit. Here, and here's the ignorance. Here's the ignorant thing. If he was, he wouldn't be advertising the, a KJV. Ah, Mr. Aaron Kai, there's where you're really wrong, boy. Who are you going to vote for, Biden? Uh, our brother isn't voting because he knows better, okay? You're serious now. You should want your country to succeed. People, people, America cannot be rescued, okay? America's done. It's on an individual basis where conversion happens, okay? America's gone. America cannot be brought back to anything. And besides, okay, besides that, our Constitution is a Masonic document, okay? America, our country to succeed, it's not going to. It's not going to. They put Trump back in office, wow. Things are going to go downhill really quick. That's what I believe. Okay? All right. All right, Mr. Ka, Ka, all right, or whatever you pronounce your name, um, you are ignorant. You are very ignorant. You say he's a Jesuit. If he was, he wouldn't be advertising a KJV. Who are you going, who are you going to vote for? Biden? You serious now? You should want your country to succeed. SMH lose the hate brother. Ah, uh, Mr. Aaron Kai, I don't think you're our brother. But now, now let's address this, okay? We're going to, uh, okay, this thing about Trump 
promoting a authorized version. Well, if he was a Jesuit, he would never do that. Really? Really? Okay. This is a little out of the extreme oath of the Jesuit order. Okay, here it is. All right. I'm going to read to you portions. Uh, look in the about section. There is a link for this where you can find this yourself and read it yourself. A lot of people question the validity of it, of course. These are the people who work for the Vatican who do that most of the time. Okay? Mr. Kai, pay attention. Okay? Quote, <clears throat> a Jesuit wouldn't promote the authorized version of the scripture. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. There is a coadjutor in England who's doing exactly what we're going to read and he calls himself a King James Bible believing Christian. What did you figure? Okay? All right? Quote, my son, heretofore you have been taught to act the dissembler among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic and to be a spy even among your own brethren, like record people's phone calls and emails and and Skype stuff unbeknownst. So, well, you can't do that with a Skype, but whatever. To believe no man. To trust no man. What a pathetic existence. Among the reformers. Infiltrators. Among them. To be a reformer. Ah. So Jesuit would infiltrate and pretend to be one of us saints, huh? Hmm. So, if a Jesuit were to infiltrate King James Bible William Christianity, uh, that would mean that they would, what? Have to give credence, at least openly, to the... Look at Stephen Anderson! Okay, people? All right. Is Stephen Anderson an actual Jesuit? I don't believe he is. But! Stephen Anderson is definitely working for the Jesuit order, Roman Catholicism, the Vatican, in that he is a coadjutor. Okay? He preaches all the main doctrines of Rome, but yet, yet, Steve Anderson, you ask Steve Anderson, he said this is the perfect and errant given by inspiration word of God, but yet he adheres to every single principle of Rome. Mr. Aaron Kai, you're an idiot. Okay? You are. I say that to you with love. All right, let's continue here. All right. Among the Huguenots, to be a Huguenot. Among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist. Among the Protestants, generally, generally, to be a Protestant. And what, what, what are Protestants protesting today? Oh, they're protesting the saints who believe the authorized version of the scriptures. Okay? And obtaining their confidence. Obtaining their confidence. You know, you got these King James Bible-believing Christians, which is nothing more than just another uh, denomination within Christianity now. That's what it has become because of these people. Okay? Uh, you know, see, Trump is being used to ingratiate himself onto all walks of Christianity. To, be, to pull off what I believe is going to happen if he gets into office again, uh, be used like Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay? Napoleon plan will be in the description box for you to watch. Okay? Where Napoleon Bonaparte in his second coming, as it were, uh, followed the behest of the Jesuit order and sacrificed his troops. Even some of the uh, Confederate uh, people uh, in America is like, hey, uh, Napoleon did a blunder. It had to have been purposely. He sacrificed his own patriotic people at the behest of Rome. Okay? That's what I believe the Jesuit order is going to do with Trump. If the Jesuit order puts Trump back into office, okay, and he's ingratiating himself onto you, King James Bible and Christians, okay, and then he turns subtly. It's like, well, this is for the best of our, you know, God bless you, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. See, you guys got to, okay, yes, yes, you know, putting the authorized version out there, yes, that, praise the Lord for that, yes, but, an example, a, a quick analogy, uh, and, and, and um, 
my brother, our brother, would be good at this. You know Elvis sang hymns? What does that have to do with it? You want the devil singing you hymns? You know Johnny Cash? Who did that? I heard myself a, a cover of Nine Inch Nails. Okay? If you don't know, leave it alone. You know, he sung hymns. He ever, he, he didn't read the authorized version. He read the non-King James Version. But he also claimed, you know, read the Bible. You know? You want him singing you hymns? Alan Jackson, country and western. Okay? Devil. You want the devil read, uh, singing you hymns? Again, Donald J. Trump is selling the authorized version. But see, there's a reason to obtain their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits. So if a Jesuit coadjutor infiltrator was seeking to infiltrate the King James Bible Eating Christian movement, um, Seeking to preach from their pulpits. Stephen Anderson. You ask Stephen Anderson, he'd tell you. This is the perfect and errant given by inspiration word of God. He'd tell you that. Kent Helvin. Kent Helvin. He's like, this, this is the perfect word of God. And it is. Amen, it is. But see, they're servants of Rome. Both Kent Helvin and Stephen Anderson uphold the major doctrines of Rome. But yet, 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 they uphold the authorized version. Okay? Okay. All right? And to denounce with all vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope, Ah, so see, a coadjutor working for the Jesuit order, a Jesuit himself, okay, they would come in and they would denounce the Pope in Rome. Yes, they would affix themselves to whatever they are commanded to do because they have no mind of their own. Okay, they are at war, they are at war and without will. Okay. A lot of these guys are brilliant, very smart. But see, they're, they're animals. They're a cadaver. They're a sword in the hand of Arturo Sosa. They have no mind of their own. That's why, okay, that's why a Jesuit coadjutor will go down on the Titanic. That's why Jesuit coadjutors would die in something that you would like. Why would they do that? Because they have no will of their own. If they're told to die for Mother Church, they would. Without question. And even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews. That's Rome's uh, thought on the Hebraic Jewish people. And that ye and uh, that you, excuse me, might be enabled to gather together all information. For the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. And also, also, where is that? Okay, where is that? <clears throat> All right, where it says here. Uh, All right. Here, also quoting from the... Um, Extreme oath of the Jesuits. Quote, this is what the guy, as he's being sworn in with a dagger to his chest, okay? Quote, I do further promise and declare that notwithstanding I am dispensed with to assume my religion heretical. What does that mean? It means if uh, a coadjutor, infiltrator, or a Jesuit himself, just full-blown Jesuit, uh, comes along uh, that they say, hey, you're going to, Preach against us so you can get in. The, you know, that's what they would do. Okay? Hey, guy. He, uh, Donald Trump is considered a Jesuit. He would absolutely, absolutely, to ingratiate himself onto idiots like you. Okay? All right? Somebody got to tell you like it is, boy. All right? 
Okay? So, let's continue. For the propaganda of the mother's church interest to keep secret and private all her agents, counsels from time to time, as they may entrust me and not to divulge directly or indirectly by word, writing, or circumstance, whatever, but to execute all that shall be proposed, given in charge or discovered unto me by you, my ghostly father, or any of his or any of this sacred covenant. I do further pro pay attention. I fur I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own. That's how these guys will go down on a sinking ship readily. Okay? Or any mental reservation whatsoever, even as a corpse or cadaver, pernindi ac cadaver, but will unhesitatingly obey each and every command that I am Receive that I may receive from my superiors in the militia of the Pope and of Jesus Christ. There's a link for this, not this exact one, but a different because they took this one down. But there is a link for this in the about section. You have any questions? Uh, please, please go ahead and look for yourself. Please go ahead and look for yourself. Now I'm going to share this with you. Okay. This is, a, um, this is something from Chick Publications, Smiley Dave, okay? Here, I'm going to read this to you, right here. How's that read it? Can you see that? Oh, no, you can't see that. Everything backwards on uh, OBS, okay? There we, there, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay? There are four, according to Alberto Rivera, there are four divisions within Jesuitism. Uh, actually, I think there's a fifth, but we're gonna, I'm, I want you, you to know this. The first class, the professed. These are priests with SJ, Society of Jesus, after their names, if they want to be known. Only a few of the Jesuits make it to this class. This means that the vast majority of Jesuits are not priests. Not open. They take four vows. Obedience, poverty, chastity, and special obedience to the Pope. Second class. Formed coadjutors. There are two kinds. A. Spiritual coadjutors. These are lesser priests who can only hear confessions, preach, and teach. Like the ones that you get in the Catholic Church. And, and look at this. Look at that picture there. Okay priest uh, in a confessional. B. Temporal coadjutor. And, and these are the majority of what you and I are uh, dealing with, brethren. People. Okay? Temporal coadjutors. These are at the bottom of the barrel with no spiritual authority whatsoever. They work as cooks, gardeners, etc., as long as they live for the greater glory of God, ad majorem the glorium. Okay? Three, third class, approved scholastics. This is a student who promises to lay his future in the hand of his superior. Oh, kind of like uh, Kent Helvin and Steve Anderson. Okay? Who will decide after his 10, 14 years of study where he will end up in the system? Whether he becomes a Jesuit priest or a janitor, he trusts that his superior speaks for God. Fourth class, still indifferent. It has not been decided where these people belong. They too must trust their superior as God. They have no will. See, the Jesuits are trained to see a man as God. Okay? Uh, Francis, okay, to him, God is Arturo Sosa. And Arturo Sosa, the most deadliest man on earth, God to him is Satan. Okay? And wait up to 14 years for his decision. Their goal is an elite team of the most dedicated men in the world, and they are, who will do anything for their Jesuit general without thought or hesitation. The Jesuit goal is to make the world serve the Pope 
by hook or by crook. The Jesuits quote Napoleon Bonaparte. The Jesuits are a military organization, not a religious order. Their chief is a general of, the, of an army, not the mere father, abbot of a monastery. And the aim of this organization is power. Power in its most despotic exercise. Absolute power, universal, Catholicos, power. Power to control the world by the volition of a single man, that man of sin, the son of perdition. Jesuitism is the most absolute of despotisms, and at the same time the greatest, the most enormous of abuses. The general of the Jesuits insists on being master sovereign over the sovereign. Yeah, Arturo Sosa controls nations. Donald Trump is in the back pocket of Arturo Sosa, period. Okay? Whether the Jesuits, where, wherever the Jesuits are admitted, they will be masters, cost what it may. Their society is by nature dictatorial, and therefore it is the irreconcilable enemy of all constituted authority. Every, listen to me, every act, every crime, however atrocious, is a meritorious work if committed for the interest of the Society of Jesus or by order of the general. And from the horse's rear end himself, Ignatius de Loyola, quote, putting aside all private judgment, we should always be ready to accept this principle. I will believe that the white I see is black if the hierarchical church so defines it. Don't do it. Seriously. Um, a Jesuit will stop at nothing. You heard that they would even go as low as to be a Jew among Jews. Rome hates the Hebraic people. Okay? They do. Rome teaches that their church has replaced Israel. Okay? Dude, Mr. Kai, if you see this, okay, I'm, I was harsh on you. Somebody got to be. Um, don't you think for a moment that the Jesuits wouldn't do something to get in edgewise, to uh, the ends justify the means? Okay, you got to remember, that man of sin, the son of perdition, which is erroneously referred to as the Antichrist, again, find the Antichrist in the authorized version of the scriptures put it in the comment section and I'll give you a thousand dollars of money I don't have okay all right that man of sin son of perdition he's going to be a Hebrew Satan himself is going to become what he hates the most a Hebrew during the time of Jacob's trouble so son you gotta you gotta wake up to the truth that the Jesuit order will stop at nothing there isn't anything they wouldn't do. A Jesuit could be pumping your gas. A Jesuit could be selling you toothpaste at Wally World. Okay. All right. You know, like the hunter from England, that pond scum provincial that he is. Okay. He's like, it's absurd to think that the Jesuits would do that. I said, oh, shut up, dude. You work for him yourself. Okay. There isn't any depth so low. There is nothing sacred to the Jesuit except for the greater glory of God. The one thing they won't do is they won't get into detail about their own actual do doings. But, hey, they'll come in, they, they, King James Bible, William Christian, and promote it, and even read it publicly, and actually quite well, too. Okay? So, dude... Don't think for a moment that just because, the, the, you know, Trump is selling the authorized version, don't you think for a moment that he isn't working for the Jesuit order? He is. Okay? He is. You do greatly here. Okay? Now, in Matthew chapter 23, now we're shifting back, pretense. 
pretense. And here our beloved uh, Webster botched it again. What am I talking about? I'll tell you. Uh, scripture, in Scripture, recompense. There are two spellings in Scripture of recompense. One with a C and one with an S. One spelling denotes always a noun. The other spelling denotes always a verb. Okay? The Lord knew what he was doing with the authorized version. And see, when you look up recompense in Webster's, he only gives the S. Okay? We've, uh, there, I'll find it. I'll find that video uh, somewhere on the channel here, okay? Uh, with recompense. Okay? I'm writing this down so I don't forget it. Okay? But yes, Scripture, check it out yourself. Go to King James Bible Online and see yourself. There are two spellings of the same word in Scripture. And there, one's used as a noun, one's used as a verb. Webster only gives the S spelling. Okay? You'll see what I mean. Matthew 23, verses 1 on to verse 15. Then, now, again, Matthew 23. Question. Had Jesus Christ died, buried, and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures yet? No. Matthew 23 is describing the spiritual climate before the redemption of the purchased possession. Matthew 24 is about the time of Jacob's trouble. Matthew chapter 25 is touching on the kingdom of heaven when the Lord comes back and that kind of stuff. Okay? It fits perfectly. All right? So, then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Scribes and Pharisees put tradition eh, above Scripture. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Listen to me. Look at that verse. Don't look at me. Look at that verse, okay? Trump is selling the authorized version of the Scriptures. Good. Okay? Our hope as saints ought to be in that regard. That someone will get a hold because of such and then the Lord get a hold of that individual and save them and then they be woken up to the truth of things. It's like, oh, whoa. That is our hope as saints for this thing with Trump selling the authorized version of the scriptures. Okay? But see here, right here. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. Because the scribes and Pharisees were actually telling the people truth. But were they doing what they said? Were they living up to their own standard? No. 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 That's what Mark chapter 7 is about. Well, let's keep reading. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. It's theater, people. And see, Trump now selling the authorized version, he's trying to cover all his bases. And then you got guys like Breaker, Kim, and that that idiot, <laughs> Grider, like ah yeah yeah yeah. And see, the enemy, the devil, wants you people to have a short memory. How many of you remember when the first bout of Smoking Joe versus Trump? It was big news, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Sure was. Why aren't we? Why are we barely hearing anything about it now? Hmm? Have you ever wondered that? All their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the upper, uppermost rooms at feast and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men Rabbi, Rabbi. I want to be on top. But be not ye called a Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. This does not mean that you can't refer to your father as father. This is speaking in religious title. Father Baker. Father, <laughs> with every pun intended. Most reverend so and so. 
Reverend and holy is his name. Okay, this is talking about a religious title. Okay, you can call your father, father. Okay, all right. So now what is he addressing here? Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Ah, there you go. There you go. Stephen Anderson. Okay? Robert Breaker. Gene Kim. Jeffrey Greider. Okay? These guys. They're not saved. I don't believe any of them are saved. Okay, all right. Preach the authorized version. Breaker even has the I I think he even has the correct dispensations right. You know, I, I believe he does, and so does Kim. I think might even greater too. But here's the problem. Okay, here's the problem. They ain't of us. They ain't of us. Okay? They ain't of us. Steve Anderson, dude. That guy upholds virtually every doctrine of Rome. If you were to ask him, he'd tell you that the authorized version is perfect and Aaron given by inspiration word of God. Look, Mr. Aaron Kai, if you're seeing this, you're already angry. Good. Good. Wake up, boy. I I know I was hard on you. Okay, I'm not sorry. Um, you guys got to understand, all of you have to understand, there isn't a depth so low that a Jesuit would not go to, to provoke, to provoke, yeah, to provoke uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, but to promote Mother Church. Why? Because the end justifies means. Even according to them, which, which we already read, even if they have to go so low as to be a Jew among the Jews, okay? You have to, people, you got to remember this. There's nothing off limits with a Jesuit. Okay? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense with a C. Now you go ahead, hey brother, who, who, who checks, I praise the Lord for it, that's one of the many reasons why I love you. Check the scriptures. I checked on, uh, uh, King James Bible Online, I did not look in strong. So if I'm wrong, I will be corrected. Uh, as far as I'm aware, in Scripture, the three times this word appears, it's all with the C. It's all with the C. Okay? If I'm wrong, put the thing in the comment section as far as the way... It's like, well, Brad, you said, hey, 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 hey. I told you. Scripture. Recompense is spelled two different ways. One with a C, one with a S. One is a noun, one is a verb every time. Okay? You take out the letter A and God is a spirit. That opens the door for all kinds of heresy. Okay? All right? You, you following me? Woe well, unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. When he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. And pretense. Okay. Let's look at the second appearance. And the third appearance we're going to look at, of course, but I, I, we're going to go I'll look at something else here. Mark chapter 12, just uh, verses 38 on verse 40. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost rooms at feasts which devour widows' houses uh, the Sacrita Monita, did you, did you, I know listening to me it could probably be, yeah, I, I get that, but um, the Sacrita Monita talks about how the Jesuits 
purposely go after the um, uh, elderly and stuff like that and widows and whatnot, which we address in another video, okay? Uh, I forget which one it was. It was this week. But anyway, which devour widows' houses and for a pretense with a C, make long prayers, these shall receive greater damnation. Now there's one more appearance of this in Philippians chapter 1, but we're not going to read that yet, because I want to show first, good old Mr. Webster, good old Mr. Webster, pretense, pretense. Now, I'm looking here, in uh, in the green in the proper <laughs> edition of Webster's 1828 dictionary, okay, we have presumptuous presumptuously, okay. I do not see pretense with the C in here, but what we do see is pretense with an S, okay. See, brethren, if you want to know a word. Um, scripturally start here then go to here don't start here and then go to here start here okay get put that in practice okay because this is perfect and errant given by inspiration okay that's the Word of God mr. Webster botched it on several occasions mr. Webster quotes the Apocrypha mr. Webster has botched it on many occasions scripture gives you one spelling but here he says Pretense with an S. Okay? But let's read what this means. To a holding out or offering to others something false or feigned. A presenting to others either in words or actions. A false or hypocritical appearance. Let, now let that ruminate. You have a devil. Donald J. Trump offering you the truth. The authorized version. Pretense. Usually with a view to conceal what is real and thus to deceive. Under pretense of giving liberty to nations, the prince conquered and enslaved them under pretense of patriotism. Ambitious men serve their own selfish purposes. The end justifies the means. Let not Trojans with a feigned pretense of preferred peace delude the Latin prince, Dryden. It is sometimes preceded by on, as on pretense of receiving, of revenging Caesar's death, Middleton. Two, assumption, claim to notice. Never was anything of this pretense more ingenuously imparted, Evelyn. Three, claim true or false. Primo gentiri, P-R-I-M-O-G-E-N-I-T-U-R-E, cannot have any pretense to a right of solely inherited property or power. Lock with the E. Four. Something held out to terrify or for other purpose as a pretense of danger. Shakespeare. Okay? So, we get from Webster, okay, pretense, and what we already had from Scripture as what pretense is, someone putting on a feigned shoe, vain shoe, something that they are not. But see, as we read in Matthew 23, the scribes and Pharisees were giving the people truth, but under a pretense. Okay? Hence, Donald J. Trump. And also now, from Alberto Rivera's testimony here, all right, going to read to you this, 
Okay, everything backwards on OBS. Okay, see that? Okay? I'm going to read to you this. All right. Talking about when um, Arturo, uh, Arturo, when Alberto Rivera kissed the hand of the then, of the then uh, Jesuit general, he had a Masonic ring on his hand, okay? Quote, because of my experience in espionage, I was ordered to join the ecumenical forces under Pope John the Thirteenth. The Protestants were no longer to be called heretics, but separated brethren. Vatican II. Vatican II. Ecumenicalism. Veil of ecumenicalism. Okay? Veil of ecumenicalism. Okay? The communists were no longer our enemies. Yeah, because communism was created by Rome! Okay? <laughs> All right, believers, one world church, Protestants of all denominations, Orthodox churches of all kinds, Muslims, Brahmins, Buddhists, Mormons, occult churches, Eastern religions, TM, Jehovah's Witnesses, Science of Mind, Judaism, etc. Non-believers, one world government, communists, all Masonic lodges, socialists, atheists, labor unions, etc. Hey, Dave, you were looking at me. You might want to get a hold of this there, bud. Put, 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 the, put the stuff down and get a hold of some of this. This will, this should tantalize you, you crazy. Anyway, we have successfully infiltrated all these organizations. Our masterpiece is this third force, which is the charismatic movement. This is the bridge to Rome. These protestants have accepted us with open arms. You're, se you're sending your children to Jesuits in the public schools. Thanks to our undercover agents, we have quietly moved into Christian TV and publishing. That's why it's, you know, these... Christians on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Ad majorum de gloria. And have been accepted as teachers, pastors, evangelists. We are pushing only love and unity to pull us all together. This is our revival. And what we already read, what I showed you already, to rule the, to bring the whole world under the volition of a single man, that man of sin, the son of perdition. Okay? The first protestant groups they moved on were the Seventh-day Adventists and the full gospel businessmen. Then into the Baptists, Stephen Anderson, Methodists, that putz over there, Presbyterians, German Catholics, Lutherans, etc. Until they were all inf infiltrated including the morons and the Jehovah's, Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses. The thing about the Ronald Reagan, where they moved the swearing in of the El Presidente from one end of the White House to the other end of the White House, where he was standing in front of an obelisk, which is, beg your pardon, an uncircumcised phallus, okay? That was the sign under the Jesuit order that they had infiltrated all of Christianity. And why you guys want to say defend being a Christian, I have whatever, 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 whatever. I am right here. All the seminaries, universities, and colleges were next. Yeah. What happens when someone goes to Moody? Okay, or Princeton? They come out with Yea hath God said. The Jesuits directed Catholic youth actions, Legion of Mary and Knights of Columbus, who pulled it off. You know the guys who stand in front of the stores, the Knights of Columbus, okay? Oh, what's that one dude here on YouTube? I blocked him a long while ago. Kenneth, 
That scoundrel scumbag. Hi. Okay. And, and the, the funny thing was that a lot of these guys, uh, I think Mr. Sunk and I were like having fellowship with this guy. Alex Kennis was his name. And he was a brazen knight of Columbus. And yet he was having dialogue with supposed King James Bible-believing Christians. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> now these groups are silent about Rome or claim that Rome, the Roman system is a Christian church. And see, Mr. Alberto Rivera here, <laughs> uh, they are. The Roman church is Christian. Christianity is not the faith that was once delivered under the saints people. They are winning through compromise. Oh, gee. <laughs> Almost all Protestant pastors are afraid to speak out against Rome. If they did, those planted in their churches would attack them on demand. This is the great apostasy, the great falling away the Bible speaks of before the Lord Jesus returns. They let let's clarify, uh, let's clarify that. Okay. Save people fall. A just man falleth seven times. Those who were never of us, but ingratiated themselves like the Jesuits and then get uh, manifest that they are not of us, they are the ones that fall away, Mr. Fig. I hope you repent of that. I hope you have. I, I, I really do. I really, I really do. I hope you repent of that nonsense. <laughs> I really do. I doubt it, but I really do. 1 John 2, 19. They went out from us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. The great whore of Revelation. So the great whore of Revelation 17 is the Roman Catholic system. Hey, Eric, you're working for the Jesuits. I, I hope you're having a good... I, I've seen, because unfortunately I watched what some of your stuff. You wear one of those things under your nose. I hope your life is going well for you, sir. I really do. I hope everything is going great for you. Because when you die, you're going to hell, buddy. You're serving the Vatican. Steven Anderson, he, he, he's living his best life now. Because when he, when he goes, he's going to hell. Okay. The great horror of Revelation 17 is the Roman Catholic system. Bible prophecy places her in a position of tremendous power in the last days and then shows her final destruction in Revelation 18. The deceitfulness of the horror of Revelation has exposed the world leaders with whom she signed treaties, concordance, turn against her to fulfill God's will. The Bible says, and there is great rejoicing in heaven, and quotes Revelation 19, 1 through 6. By this time I was destroyed. My hope was gone. I was on tranquilizers. I was to speak before an ecumenical meeting of Latin Protestant leaders and Roman Catholics in Guatemala. There were to be 50,000 people in, a, in the stadium. I committed an unpardonable sin. I exposed what Rome was up to. Okay? And it gives this thing here about what Alberto Rivera did in Guatemala. Quote, How can I preach about life to you when I am dead? And the system I serve smells of death from confessionals to Mary to purgatory to mass and the priesthood which all deny the resurrection of Christ. And most Christians, not all, but most Christians, when you get right around to it, you, you, the resurrection. Do you believe in the resurrection? Well, I'm a Christian. I'm supposed to. Talk with them about it. Most Christians that you're going to encounter don't believe in the resurrection. But they say they do because they know that they have to. 
Okay? Why does he say this? Because I am not your brother. Oh, wait, wait. How can I speak of life when I've lied to you, infiltrated and destroyed your churches? You think this ecumenical movement means love and unity, but in reality it will bring about your death because I am not your brother. How do we shut him up? Rivera must be stopped. And then uh, Rivera, uh, Alberto Rivera in this, I believe it is this one, he gives uh, means about how the Jesuit order and their agents will like destroy their reputation, uh, isolate him, and last resort, kill him. Okay? All right? Now, with that in the air, Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. Good old sunken eyed in Canada once had Sam Spit on his live stream. And Sam Spit is crazy, okay? But that man in that live stream, which I did watch, okay, uh, said these words I do believe God uses easy believism. <laughs> hey, Mr. Spit, which God? <laughs> Give me a break, pal. How many of you have run into the thing where, for example, well, easy believists, they're, they're preaching Jesus, and they do what? They come to Philippians 1, 18. What then? Notwithstanding in every way. What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense with the sea. Those are the three appearances of Scripture. In Scripture of pretense, all see. Webster has it with an S. Okay? Or in truth, Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice. Yea, and will rejoice. Say, so, see that, but, but, but people, people, easy believists are not preaching the actual Jesus Christ of the Scripture. A majority of them, if not all of them, are one God and three persons. They, most of them are not rightly dividing the word of truth. They tell you that it's by grace through faith from beginning to end. Okay? All right? Easy believism is not giving you the actual Jesus Christ. They're giving you another gospel where you save yourself by your own belief and another Jesus who has no requirements. They're not preaching to you the actual Jesus or the actual gospel. Catholicism doesn't need to be said, okay? Calvinists, you're elect because of whatever, okay? And you go down the line of the denominations of Christianity, okay? All right? But see, here, what is Paul talking about? Let's read verses 12 under verse 20 for the sandwich context, okay? All right? And see, well, let, let, let's read Scripture. Verse 12 on verse 20. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. See, Paul was in shackles for serving the true Christ, our Lord Jesus, God the Father. Okay? And at this time, enemies were coming along telling the truth of this Jesus who Paul preached, trying to get him condemned. See? And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear because of the testimony. It's like here he was being persecuted for the truth and the enemy was using the truth as a means to attack Paul. Okay? Not because they were wanting to see people saved, but they were using truth, and they were using truth to attack the messenger. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife. And where envy and strife is, there is every evil work. Okay? And some also of goodwill. 
Now see, right, verse 16. The one preached Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds. Dave Murphy is a good example of this. He is out there going, and I said, some of you sent this to me. Um, he's attacking right now, apparently, I haven't seen him, I don't watch him. Some of you have sent me some of his stuff. Um, he was attacking women preachers. And he was quoting scripture. Now, does Dave Murphy doing that because he's of, of, of Christ the Saint? No. He's doing it out of a pretense. Why? To start contention. Okay? All right. I, I, I did, some of you sent me this. It's like, hey, Brad, check this out. It's, I don't want to see. And then I listened to it. And of course, he's a, he's a vulgar and profane man. <laughs> okay? All right. But. He was going after female preachers, okay, quoting, uh, I, he, I didn't listen, uh, he, was, he wasn't quoting the scripture, but he was bringing those verses up. It's like, hey, uh, the Bible says you're not supposed to do that, and he was using profanity. What are you doing? Okay? See, he was using something that was true in order to attack, to try to debase the God who is. Do you get why we as saints, okay, yeah, Trump is promoting the authorized version, but at the same time, a devil's telling you truth? Do you, do you get this? Come on. Come on, you got, you have to get this. You have to understand what, we're, what, what I'm saying to you. Don't you? Don't you? I, I'm glad that the authorized version is being promoted. Yes, I am. But brethren, come on. Let's, keep, let's finish this. The one preached Christ, verse 16, of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, using the, uh, the truth as a means to condemn in the eyes of the world, like what Mr. Dave Murphy is doing what Mr. Trump is being used to do. Okay? What then? Uh, but, verse 17. But, of, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached. Therein do, and I therein do rejoice. Yea, and will rejoice. Okay? See, because to Paul himself didn't matter but the truth. At this time, the enemy was using the actual truth to try to condemn Paul. The, the picture, for example, again, Dave Murphy is a great example of this. Guy's lost. A uh, professed atheist. He's a self -theist. Okay? He doesn't want the truth. He wants his sin. Okay? He does. He's admitted it. But see, he's saying what is true in order to make the truth look bad. Okay? Unto who? A world. He is of the world, therefore the world will hear him. Donald Trump. He, he, he's smiling at you with the authorized version of the scriptures. And if they put him in office, he's going to betray every single one of you. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the capitalist spirit of Jesus Christ according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed but that with all boldness as always so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body whether it be by life or by death. Verse 21 For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Now, let, let, let's look at this. Let's look at this, okay? Here is OBS. Okay, here is uh, okay, Google. Come on, interact. Okay. Uh, let me see. Images. Go to images. All right. Trump. Oh. Trump with KJV. 
Now, how many of you remember way back when this? How many of you remember that? Okay, you might not see see that because my face is there. But you see that? Trump was with that. With that. And I remember this. Break, uh, Breaker and that idiot Grider were like, he's promoting the King James Version. That right there in that picture, he was holding up a revised standard version. He was not holding up the scripture. Okay? He was not. That's, that's propaganda. That's, uh, this is theater. Okay? And now you have this. Okay, Trump's peddling Bible, which is the authorized version, okay? The authorized version. So people, before Trump was, you know, there with his, his let, 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 let me get my face out of the way for y'all. Let me get my face out of the way for y'all. I, I, not that, sorry. Okay. That, there we go. Move that, move that, uh, let's, move, let's move that down here for this, okay? All right, go back to the uh, interact with this, okay? That's the new revised, oh no, that was the revised standard version. West Scott and Fart, blood clot and fart, okay? Now Trump uh, is, uh, okay, there's the, the scripture, the authorized version. There's, uh, that's Photoshop, that, that, see. Now if you want to zoom in on that, that is not the King James Version. That is the revised standard version. How many of you remember that? Huh? Huh? Okay. And there it is. There it is. Modern. With the authorized version. Okay. All right. And, that, and that's, that's pretty much all we're going to look at with this. But uh, now let's go to all. Yeah, the one guy asked our brother, is like, where's Fordham, okay? Fordham University, uh, Wiki, uh, Fordham, ah, wait, 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 University, Wikipedia, all right, Fordham University, Wikipedia. All right. Oh, out oh, here. Let me. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Where's my face? Let me see so you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, go back to browser. Interact. Fordham University. You see that, people? What's the significance? IHS. That's the symbol of the Jesuit order. That's the symbol of the Jesuit order. Fordham University is a Jesuit university. Donald Trump has been trained by Jesuits. Okay? All right? We're not going to read that, but this is right there. IHS. Isis Horus Set. Not Jesus Hamadan Salvatore, Jesus the Savior of Mankind. No, that means Isis Horus Set. That's the sign of the Jesuit order. Fordham University is a Jesuit university, people. Stephen Anderson came along, and now he calls himself a King James Bible believing Christian. Okay, he calls himself a Bible believer. Okay, uh, I know it says Bible there, but within the text of Scripture, it doesn't call itself a, a Bible, Scripture, Word of God. But see, there are many Bibles. Distinction, distinction, distinction. Okay. Stephen Anderson was brought in to make the saints, saved people, look bad. Like I said, you ask Stephen Anderson, um, he would tell you that the authorized version is the perfect and errant given by inspiration word of God. You got Donald J. Trump now promoting the authorized version of the scriptures, which in and of itself is good, but yet you have to remember... He's a 33rd degree Freemason and Jesuit trained, hence a Jesuit in their eyes, serving the Vatican. And if Jesuit order selects him 
and puts him back in to the presidency for this nation. I personally believe that it's going to be far worse than anything that has happened with Biden. Am I and and people? Uh, your your vote doesn't count, people. It, it's theater. It, it, it's a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Your vote doesn't count. It doesn't matter. Okay. The Jesuit order is going to put whoever they want in office here in America. Okay? Why? For judgment against this nation. And you, you do, do you, a lot, of, a lot of you do. A lot of you American countrymen of mine, <laughs> it's no wonder all the nations of the world hate us. Okay? America's done for. America would done for. America what is a Christian nation. It is. It is. Christianity is not the faith that was once delivered to the saints, pal. That's a Masonic document. Our founding fathers were Freemasons. Whoa. Oh, Washington was a Baptist. Yeah. But uh, first and foremost, he was a Freemason. Manly Palmer Hall even admits that. Pike admits that. Okay? Look at Benjamin Franklin. One of the biggest whores there was. Okay? He bowed at every altar. Just like a Mason. Just like a Jesuit. Okay? And remember, people, the Masons do not control the Jesuits. It's vice versa. The Jesuits control the Masons. Okay? Amen! Amen. The authorized version is getting, you know, the, what that uh, the, the, our dear brother sent us the picture with Trump, like, smiling. But remember, remember what we saw. You know, the one thing about uh, a while ago, Trump, you know. And it was a revised standard version. Now he's with the authorized version. Hey, hey, the, the scriptures, people are, hey, the, here's our hope, brethren, saints. Someone's like, hey, Trump's the King James? Okay. Then they start reading that and they get to Romans. And then the Lord's like, come here. So, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay? That's, that's my hope. That's our hope with that. But you also got to remember... There's an undercurrent there that is devious that could be used to destroy and to make the saints look even worse than Stephen Anderson has done. Even worse than a lot of you now King James Bible believing Christians are doing. Okay? So that, that's all i got to say about that. Uh, thank you for watching this. If you do, there may be... I came across... A disgusting Christian recently, just yesterday, um, which I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I don't know. We've still got this big video that's going to be coming eventually. Please pray for your servant for that. But um, yeah, that that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to get this uploaded. Thank you for watching this. If you do, people do please consider. You know what? If you see the authorized version from Trump and you and you get it, go ahead and get get the authorized version. That is the word of God. That is perfect and they're given by inspiration. Okay? This is perfect. Go to the book of Romans. Ask the Lord to reveal himself unto you through the scriptures. Okay? Believe that he is. Let him do the rest. Okay? See, people's ignorance has been perpetuated, has been built on. That's why so many of these enemies and coadjutors can get away with some of the stu By grace through faith, from beginning to end, how could these devils get away with that stupidity unless the population has been given for many years, conditioned with an adulterated gospel and an adulterated Jesus?
So a people that have been corrupted, adulterated by deception, now given the truth, okay, the Lord through the truth can reach them absolutely. But then again, Trump pushing the authorized version, they put him back in office, and America finally goes down even worse than now. Oh, well, you're a King James Bible believing Christian. I'm a saint that believes the authorized version. And see, th this is another thing about you guys and your little denomination that you're so adamant about now. You know, King James Bible believing movement, you're just another denomination, just like Baptist, Methodist, Episcopalians. You've got what you've wanted. Verily, you have your reward. Thank you for watching if you do. Even so, come Lord Jesus.